translate it into our language, and this is what he's saying. If some to whom God's promises were entrusted did not respond to them in trust, will their lack of trust destroy God's trustworthiness? In other words, if there are people who were religious who did not trust in God, then does that mean that God is not trustworthy? We find that, don't we? Like we see people who are religious, but they don't trust in God. So does that mean the God that they proclaim is not trustworthy? Well, Paul, he emphatically, violently says, no way, not, no, not on your life. No way. Just because some people are unfaithful does not mean that God is unfaithful. If anything, and this is our next point, the faithlessness of the religious to God exposed the faithfulness of God to us. So the faithlessness of others to God exposes the faithfulness of God to us. The fact that people break their promises constantly displays the fact that God never breaks his promises to us. He's faithful to us every single time. As imperfect man, I've, I've broken promises. I get it. But I'm so grateful to God that he's not broken his promises to me, to my family, and to those I love. In the same way, the imperfection of people reveals the perfect nature of who God is for all of humanity. That's why at Grace, we're a group of imperfect people who celebrate the perfect love of Jesus Christ. Every person in this room is imperfect and broken in some way, but we are bound together by the perfect love of Jesus Christ. Is that not good news? That's what we celebrate as a church family. The brokenness of our lives is like this perfect contrast, this perfect uh, uh, backdrop to really why Jesus is the only thing about life that's good. Jesus is the only thing truly at the heart that makes life worth living. And so as we think about God's promises, he's faithful. To the Gentile, this was, was good news for many of them because they felt like they were not included, like they were not God's people. And to the Jew, this is bad news. Why? God is faithful to save and God is faithful to condemn. It goes both ways. Like we like say, hey man, I love God for his promises. What about his promises that he's going to bring judgment? Not all promises are good for people. I'm just grateful to God that I'm in Jesus Christ and I am the beneficiary of those good promises. Amen? 